Alright, hi, I'm Corey Drake, and I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a star field in Photoshop. So go ahead and go to New. You're going to rename this Star Field. You can go to 1024 by 768 to just give us a nice big area to work with. Open up the Advanced tab, change the color profile that don't color manage this document, and hit OK. Alright, now we've got our workspace here, we're ready to work. What I usually do is double click on the background layer to get rid of the uh, the lock symbol right there. It's not necessary, but it's just something I do when working in Photoshop. So, yeah. Alright, go ahead and go to Filter, Texture, and Stained Glass. Now, I already have the settings put in, so this is what it's going to look like. And on the right hand side, you'll see all the things that you'll be using to change cell size. Go ahead and put that to 2. Change the board thickness to 1 and the line intensity to 3. And hit OK. Now we've ended up with this weird patchwork, hopefully. Now if it didn't, a lot of times I have problems if the white is on top of black instead of the other way around like I have it. So just make sure your settings are the same as mine and you should be fine. So you can go back to Filter texture and then grain. Now once again I already have the settings in so this is what it's going to look like. Just make sure you have your intensity set to 100. Let's change the contrast to 050. And what you want to make sure is that the grain type is sprinkles. That's what's going to give it its star type look. And hit OK. Okay, now right now it's a white backdrop with black stars, and that's not what we want. So what we're going to go ahead and do is go on up to Image, go to Adjustment, and now I usually press Control i which is the hotkey for Invert, but you can go ahead and click it. You might want to learn that, it's pretty helpful. And now we have our star field. It'll be easier to see when you're actually doing this in Photoshop because I had to lower the quality on the video. But now you have a Star Wars uh, backdrop that you can you know, maybe send a spaceship flying through or a weird red monster with spikes and mouth and give it some eyebrows. So yeah. Take it or leave it. That's how I do a star field in Photoshop. Um, I'd like to say thank you to X Sniper X from the Dark Basic Forum. And go to credit.com for more tutorials for computer-based programs. This is Corey Drake. Thank you for listening.